Uh, I got one question for you guys before you guys leave. I was thinking when I was on my way over here, I was wondering why I haven't gotten a question from you guys about the Jerry Jones photo. But when the Kyrie thing was going on, you guys were quick to ask us questions about that. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I don't even want you guys to say nothing. When I watched Kyrie talk and he says, I know who I am, but I want to keep the same energy when we're talking about my people and the things that we've been through. And that Jerry Jones photo is one of those moments that our people, black people, have been through in America. And I feel like as a black man, as a black athlete, as someone with power and a platform, when we do something wrong or, or something that people don't agree with, it's on every single tabloid, every single news coverage, it's on the bottom ticker, it's asked about every single day. But it seems like to me that the whole Jerry Jones situation photo, and I know it was years and years ago and we all make mistakes, I get it. But it seemed like it's just been buried under like, oh, it happened, okay, we just, we just move on. And I was just kind of disappointed that I haven't received that question from you guys. Appreciate it. LeBron James. Hold on, I got to put the phone down for this. Got to give you a round of applause. Hold on. Because mind you, brother, that's what you're supposed to do. From now on, that's how you act. Oh, sir. Now, nah, real talk, though. Um, We got to salute and shout out LeBron James. Because I feel like a lot of people have been on LeBron James' back lately. And been like, yo, he's supposed to speak more on these subjects and sticking up for black people and da-da-da. And they didn't like how he kind of threw Kyrie under the bus. But, same time, he is one of them people that kind of usually stands up for the political stuff. Sometime, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's been slayed plenty of times. Like, even when he tweeted saying the cops should um your necks and all that shit he got backlash for that and all that shit so i know he's trying to tread light you know what i'm saying but same time he just came back from this injury right people are slaying him trying to act like he wasn't doing this thing um he making the lakers lose shit like that he's still at the top of his game to be honest but other than that I know some people are going to feel like, damn, he did this just trying to get in good graces with everybody because he was getting slayed before, which sometimes people do shit like that. You know and I'm saying they have motives. But at the end of the day, round of applause. Because he didn't have to do this. And he said it perfectly. And he didn't let the media say nothing. They couldn't respond. Like, it's no excuse. Like, you know what I'm saying? We let you talk. Y'all asked all these questions. Okay, now, before I leave, let me ask y'all this. You know what I mean? Had everybody stuck because it's like, look in the mirror. You got to look in the mirror at yourselves. Like, y'all didn't say nothing about the Jerry Jones shit. Okay, their excuse is going to be, well, Kyrie is basketball related. Kyrie is, um, was your teammate before. It's a lot of controversy. Like, when they mention LeBron, they mention Kyrie. That's part of it, to be honest. But the other part is, you're not asking nobody. That's the whole point. Like, not for nothing. Let's say Michael Irvin. No, I won't say Michael Irvin because he's been a callous doubt of Dallas Cowboys. Like, he, he's he's old school. Let's say somebody that's in the league right now. They're not interviewing. Dallas Cowboys is, like, number three right now in the fucking NFL. They're not interviewing none of their players and asking them about Jerry Jones. You know what I'm saying? So it is like a double standard and it is kind of fucked up and it makes you, like I said, it makes you look in the mirror at yourself, America. Like, yo, damn, we, we be on some bullshit sometime. You know what I mean? So once again, salute to LeBron James. Hopefully the Lakers get their season, get it right. They not even like, people be counting motherfuckers out and you got to remember like, the season is like 70, 80-something games, 82 games or something. I don't know what it is this year, but long story short, it's like 
it's plenty of time to get your mojo. You know what I mean? So who knows what the Lakers going to end up doing. But back to this, man. Salute to my black people. You know what I mean? My colored people and all that shit. Salute to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Every race. But what I'm saying is, man, this was a good This was good to wake up in the morning and see. Like, okay, LeBron, that's how you, that's, from now on, that's how you talk. Stand up for your people, nigga. Nah, but salute, man. Much love, man. It's Mark Black, Molly, and my films. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. You know what I mean? 100 to everybody out there. Have a good day.